If you've been drooling over the latest trendy beauty products at the big box beauty stores, but you're watching your wallet, you're not alone. Today I'm gonna to be your personal beauty lab technician and help you shake up department store beauty products. We call it beauty cocktailing. We're gonna go beyond the mayo in the hair, the egg white face mask, to really recreate some of the top trending products that you're seeing at the department store now, like bronzing oils, colored mascara, and glycolic acid peels. We're gonna dig into the science of why it can work, debunk some myths, but also let you know when you should strap on your pumps and head to the store. Let's get it together. Everyone's going crazy over these long wear liquid lipsticks and they, indeed, they're actually really great. They tend to last you the entire day. Most lipsticks start out as powders and it got us to thinking about whether we can recreate long wear lipstick and it turns out you can actually do this with blushes and eyeshadows that you have in your arsenal right now. So you wanna start off with clean lips, then you just grab a color that you wanna try out. It's really simple, you just use your finger Grab some of that powder and just pat it directly on your lips. Now you don't want it to feel really dry, so just come in with a beeswax lip balm. I would recommend just one quick layer just to keep everything nice and hydrated, and that's it. What I love about this hack is that you're gonna be able to experiment with all those fun, funky colors like orange, lavender, green, black, these are all colors that you have in powder form, whether it's blushes or eyeshadows, and this way you're gonna be able to experiment and not actually have to invest an entire tube of lipstick. This is quite possibly my favorite beauty cocktail. We're gonna Bill Nye a glycolic acid peel at home. The only things that you need, baking soda, lemons, and a crushed up aspirin. Let me show you how. So all of these ingredients together scientifically can create a brightening, tightening, and toning mask. And we're using aspirin. Aspirin has salicylic acid. You've probably heard of salicylic acid in all those over-the-counter acne medications. Lemons are great too. They have alpha hydroxy acids. That's a water-soluble acid that's gonna help unglue all the dead skin cells on the surface of the skin. The baking soda is coming in and just helping you to physically exfoliate all of it away. Now you wanna crush it pretty finely and you're gonna put it in a larger bowl. And next you just wanna squeeze in half of a lemon, cut side up like the pros do it. You just wanna start pouring in some baking soda and you can see this is like the best part of this whole process. So now you just wanna grab an old brush and you wanna start whisking it all together. The last step of course, is to just put it on your face. Like a nice ceviche. So now the most crucial part of this is actually wiping it away. So you wanna get a towel with some warm water and you want to start slopping it off. And because the baking soda has these tiny little micro granules, you're actually physically exfoliating the surface of your skin as you're removing the, the mask. It's almost microdermabrasion that you would get at the dermatologist's office. It feels so soft. This is such a great treat for your skin. You don't want to overdo it. Once or twice a week is sufficient. Your makeup is going to glide on so perfectly. Colored mascara can be so trendy. It can really help brighten up the look of your eyes. Celebrities are doing it across the board, especially for red carpet looks, but they can set you back about $50 a pop the thing is, you're not gonna wear this every single day, but there is a way that you can actually pull this off on a major budget, and all you need is a creamy eyeliner. The only other things you need for this is a, a spoolie brush and an eyelash curler. Now, because you're not actually using mascara for this trick, it's really important that you curl your lashes. All right, so I'm gonna try this turquoise color. You wanna rub it right onto the spoolie brush. See, this is why you want a creamy liner. Then you want to apply it right onto your lashes. And that's it. Can you believe it? You can actually pull this off. You don't even have to buy anything. Do not pick up your shoes. Do not head to the department store. You actually already own nail art pens. All you need are those liquid liners that you have lying around your house. It's super easy to start. All you do is you Coat your nails with a base coat. All right, now that you have your sticky base coat, you can come in with 
your color. So you can just go in and draw in, I'm gonna draw in one line just going straight on the nail. What's really great about this is that it actually dries even faster than nail polish. Do polka dot. I mean, these are looking a little nutty, guys. I'll be honest. I think I went too crazy with the colors. I think I think I should have just kept it monochromatic. You get where I'm going with this, right? Does it look that bad? <laughs> I don't think I'm selling people here on this. <laughs> But I swear, if you are a little bit more artistic than I am, you're gonna be able to pull this off. This is gonna look really cool. Okay, I mean, I tried. It does work, okay? <laughs> That's the point. That's the point of this. So then once you're satisfied with the design, all you do is you finish it off with another layer of polish. That liquid liner dries pretty quickly, so you can see, look at that, none of it is bleeding. So check that out. If you head over to the department store, you might find those hair chalk sprays. They can run you $12, $15 a pop, but guess what? You actually own hair chalk already. I love this trick because you're gonna be able to use all those eyeshadow colors that you have no use for, or the ones that you just use on special occasions like turquoise and, and purple, even lavender. It can look really beautiful on blonde hair and brunette alike. If you open it up, then you just grab any piece of hair that you want to deposit the color on. You hold that piece of hair pretty tight. Then with your thumb, you're gonna push the hair right onto the, the color and you're gonna bring it down. Take a look at that. That's pretty cool. You run it a few more times to bump up the intensity. All you finish it off with is a little bit of hairspray, just to kind of seal the color on. So my tip for this is you want to start with curled hair. The reason for this is because once you apply that color, that curl will keep that integrity of the color in one place. If you have straight hair, everything starts to sort of blend together. If you're not the bold type, Here's a really fun tip. You can actually use a bronze shadow, almost like a gold shadow, to give yourself almost an ombre look, right? Just on the tip of your, your hair. So this is a really fun way to give yourself almost DIY highlights. Nothing screams summer quite like gorgeous, shimmering bronze skin. There's nothing like it. But if you head over to the department store, you might find that you'll Find these bronzing oils for $40, $50 a pop. So expensive. But you can DIY this yourself with just some bronzer and maybe some old eyeshadows. So all you do is you make a funnel out of a note card. You don't even need to buy a funnel for this. You tape it into place. Then you put it right on top of your vial. I love these darker vials because it's just gonna give you that same apothecary type of look. Next, all you do is you grab a bronzer. You wanna grab a bronzer that's maybe a few shades darker and you just scrape that right into your vial. You know what, forget it. <laughs> all right, got, ooh, got you in there. Then all you do is you can use coconut oil, you can use any type of oil that you love, and you just pour it right on top of that eyeshadow and bronzer. And then all you do is you shake it up. Wow, that looks great. You can, you can mix it to the luminosity that you would like. I love that it's gonna also be really nourishing and moisturizing to your skin. And then the one last thing that I really love is that if you want to add a little bit of scent to it, you can actually just pop in a few drops of essential oil. If anything, you're, you're bringing this up a notch than what you would actually find at the store. Argan oil. I'm doing my favorite Josie Marin impression. That was so much fun. Thank you so much for tuning in. We hope we helped you inspire and shake up your beauty routine with all those items that you already have at home. This is Anna D'Souza with Get It Together, and we'll catch you in the next episode.
Hello today, fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.